We talked about fixture congestion and fatigue. You and I talked about this. We were part you of the discussion did, yeah. on FC last <laughs> night. So the Premier League has decided, uh, Howard Webb has, has decided, in consultation with, with others, including Raphael Varane, who tweeted about this earlier, uh, that, hey, let's be part of the rest of the world, unlike perhaps Premier Leagues of the past, and said, we saw this at the World Cup. They're going to add minutes um, for at the end of games for time wasting, for injuries. It's not going to be like when the ball goes out for a throw in or so on, excessive goal celebrations, incidents like that, VAR decisions when everybody stands around and looks at the guy with a finger in his ear. Um, and if this means we're going to have 10 minutes of time added on, so be it. Pep's not happy about it. I wouldn't be happy about it if I conceded a goal if, <laughs> in that well, 10th yeah, minute. At that point, yeah. But taking that emotion out of the game, I think you and I might disagree on some I think, I think I think we do, yeah. I think we do. And the reason I disagree with it, like as a concept or whatever, I think we disagreed about a certain point. Overall, if the game's going to last however long it's going to last, then it is what it is. You know, you, right. you accept it, you deal with it, you, you move on. But there are certain aspects of it because say physical stats and stuff across the years, they've not been going down, like they've been going up, if anything. Like players are still covering huge distances within games. And when there's a the potential to add, say, nine, um, ten minutes potentially or something like that, you know, that will weigh into it, especially when it's across multiple games. And it's also, not because the players are fitter and more athletic? Well, they're being asked to do more per game. Like, they're, being, they're fitter and they're more athletic. We're kind of going to end up capable the same point. of doing it? No, because they're being told that they have to. So they're pushing more and more and more. So when people say the ball's out of play for like more time now, well, people are running more in that uh, little amount, well, the less amount of time or whatever we could say. So there is there's something to that. The tempo was slower before, essentially, so it wasn't as taxing. So it's more, yeah. So it's more intense, and it's only going to go that way further. I, I think my difficulty with this, Nadim, is right now there are games, right? When the intensity is high everywhere, right? Where the ball is in play for 65 minutes, right? And that's very taxing on the players because mm. they're sprinting for 65 minutes and where it's in play for 50 minutes. And you can say the physical numbers. You'd have to look at the physical number. In that 50-minute yeah. game, the, are the players working less than the 65-minute game? Yeah. And I would argue they probably are. And in the time that you're adding on is time where people generally stand around because they're looking at the VAR or they're watching the substitute trot onto the pitch or their time or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I think that is the argument. And I think as long as it's done in a way that's clear to understand, again, if I were Howard Webb, I would say, like, you, tell us, how did you arrive at 10 minutes, right? I mean, you know, there's a bloke on the sideline sitting there uh, adding things up and being like substitution here, goal celebration there, this VAR decision, whatever, this injury, Odegaard sitting on the ground, whatever. Boom. This is how I arrived at 10 minutes. If it's all clear, I don't have an issue about that, and I don't see why the players would suddenly be running more. And you can always adjust that, because then you don't take a baseline of 60 minutes, you take a baseline of 58 minutes, mm -hmm. right? Can we agree on that? Uh, we, could, we could attempt to. I, I understand the point that you're trying to make, but there's just always just that there's more, there is more to it. And another point, say if Old Guard was down on the floor yesterday for 20 seconds, how long does that, that get added to the clock, really? Well, if he's on the floor for 20 seconds, then you add 20 seconds. But then at the, when stoppage time comes, it's always a whole number. Amazing how it's, it's, a, it's a coincidence. Exactly, yeah. So, okay, we, wait, wait, so are they going to be taking time off? So if, say if it's the guy looks at his watch and it's like nine minutes and 20 seconds, do you think he'd be playing nine minutes or 10 minutes? It's a minimum of nine minutes. But then stuff no, happens. No, no, because it says 9.20. You'll probably round it up to 10. Uh, we don't know what instructions Howard Webb has given them. Yeah. Uh, this is why, as long as they're clear on it, Howard Webb is a pretty communicative guy. Yeah. This is a question I would certainly ask him. Dale Johnson, if you're listening, you've got a good relationship with PJ on while, <laughs> please uh, find out and explain it to us. Please. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.